Now I was trying to think of a song for the blob, but like, he's unmovable, he's unstoppable, he's unpalatable, he's the blob, he's coming over to your house and you can't kick him out because you can't move the blob, right? Yeah, I mean, kind of. In the comics, they do it all the time. They're like, they're like, oh, Bob's like, I'm unmovable. And then Magneto's like, yes, but there's still girders under you. Choink. <laughs> and just, just yeets him off. And he's like, oh, I didn't think of that. Like, you move the, you move the stuff under me, but not me. Like, it happens. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. Today we're painting up our blob. I'm super excited about this. Anything has to do with like a sweet um, a Brotherhood miniature or X-Men miniature, I get real excited about. Especially when I can like paint something to go fight some X-Men. I'm all about it. So I went ahead and I put a couple base layers of flesh tones on this feller. Reason being, um, it's just three layers of flesh tones. Any colored flesh work. All flesh tones beautiful, so just kind of whatever you choose. I just put a couple layers on there because we want to get to the nitty gritty. It'd be boring watching just base coats of flesh. I'm gonna put some some uh, shading and some highlighting on here, and then if we get there in an hour, so that means I gotta go. I gotta go here. Uh, we'll do some tattoos because I think it'd be kind of fun. He has all this wonderful surface area of skin to put some tattoos. Maybe we'll do some fun. Oh, I'm allergic to paint. Let's kick it to the mini cam. He's semi unmovable. Yeah, that like literally, literally, so many ways. Um, it's funny. You can actually Google blob being thrown, and you can find a whole collection of of ways that the blob has been moved. He's he's not unmovable by what you mean. By, by any true definition. So this is just a mix of a couple different paints. It's not perfectly uh, covered. doesn't need to be perfectly colored because we're going to keep adding more and more layers. So that base layer is sort of moot. doesn't really matter. Uh, the very first thing I want to do is I want to take and mix up some base color back. And then we're going to add in some red into that. And we're going to start shading with that. I want to use a little um, art medium. What this does is sort of creates translucency. His willpower, yeah, I stand. Um, that has to do with it as well, but like a lot of times in, in the comics, you'll see the blob get moved because somebody, you know, like once again, Magneto might, uh, might not move the blob, but he'll, he'll reach underneath the ground, right, or and like magnetically move the stuff under him, um, or um, you know, mystically. Blob's not a super smart fella, so somebody controlling him, kind of throwing or telekinetically um, moving the ground under him. It's not really moving him. Like, I mean, that's the side effect of this situation. But it's when things are like directly interfacing with him. What? what I, I don't know what I said rude. I don't know what I said rude. I don't like being accused of things. We're just going to start using this red to create some shading on our skin tone. He's not smart. He's never been smart. Yeah, he's not the brain. That's a different person altogether. Thank you, Summer.
like when uh, when when the Brotherhood's like looking for members, they're not like checking boxes for brains to you know by picking the blob. Like we need a brute. We need a feller gets get stuff done. Get a little more light on there. Doing the. Doing the best you can to, still does not negate my uh, my statement. Thank you very much. I'm just saying, know your strengths. A little blending it out. Some nice little red. We can go a little bit redder, I think. Was he ever going to be on a large bit? No, we always kind of knew kind of where Blob stood. Wow, I'm really getting piled on for my hyperbolic comment. Lesson learned. We just want this red anywhere. There's going to be warmth and shadow. And the goal here is as we add this warmth. This creates life, creates that like look of living creatures, especially human living creatures. And then we're going to go back there and we're going to add greens over top of this. And if you've watched the streams before, I've gone over skin tones. The same uh, process can be applied to any skin tone. Um, any human skin tone there are very few exceptions because they're all kind of fundamentally the same But Logan not being X-Men, I think the new Red Skull probably shouldn't be Cabal, right? Uh, I don't know. Why would the new Logan be X-Men? That's Lone Wolf Logan. Logan out looking for answers. What did they do to me, Chuck? I don't think you want the answer to that, Logan. I need to work on my uh, Xavier. Um, impersonation. Uh, 
Uh, do we have a timeline on when we'll see Logan and Victor cards from the box? Uh, when, 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 when it's time, that's when I'm going to say. I don't work in marketing, so don't listen to me, but. There's a, there's always a plan. There's always a timeline because we do stuff way in advance. Somebody like Summer and BK have submitted their plans and got them approved and all that stuff. So there's always a plan. What mix am I using? Uh, so I don't, once again, I, I'm not a big fan of recipes. I don't think recipes are um, super, super useful. Um, you know, I can tell you colors, but it doesn't really matter. I like to teach you. But I picked my skin tone, and then I've added some, not cherry red, but like brick red, and some mixing like art medium to like make it more translucent. And this is just creating that warmth that we're going to use to establish our some of our shadows. Yeah, you can see, here's the red right here on the palette. Uh, so if you want to kick it over to the palette cam, I can point out the red. Tell me when. So this is the, this is the red I've mixed in. You can see it's a little brickish. There's a little bit of blue in the uh, undertone. This is my... That's not actually my base color. I've actually mis mixed some of this brown into the this uh, kind of base flesh tone and then added the red. And a little, little more red. The next step will be adding green to that. Like when you look at a lot of skin tones, there's a lot of uh, green, uh, especially in Caucasian skin. And, um, varying um, degrees of other skin tones. So like, um, darker skin tones can still have green in them. If you're doing like Middle Eastern, you can do, you can add green to it as well. Looks super good. So all these skin tones are fundamentally the same. Just, you're just going, uh, you're adding, you're either starting in a darker place or a lighter place. I think that's a pretty good start. The clean water, we just, yeah, I start with new water every time. You don't want to start with old water. Clean your water cup, kids. You're so tan. I 
Okay, let's add, let's start adding our green. So, some of you want to kick it back to the mini cam. Take some of this peach color, some of this brown color, mix that together. And then green. And then some of our art medium to add translucency. There's a nice contrast here to that red. Do you know what red and green make? Brown. So what this is going to do is going to smooth out some of those transitions. It's going to add more depth to that flesh tone, which is super important. Turn him upside down, but it's so hard to do without turning them upside down. This is going to kind of kick out a little bit of that red. Make it a little more brown. Add that touch of green in there that we want. Maybe we'll do some five o'clock shadow. Now I'm okay with skin not being perfect. Skin should not be treated like something that should be perfect. You want imperfections and sort of blemishes and stuff like that. Oh gosh. What's the difference between art medium and water? Uh, art medium has more body. So like, it's kind of like paint without pigment. So it actually has body and grip. Um, but because it has no, no pigment, it does remove or create translucency, which is super good for doing things like skin. You want some translucency there. You want that that sort of luster and glow that human skin tone has. Uh, not sure if Zach asked, but was the fact blob can be pushed and thrown by superpowers done for balance? Uh, I I can't say it was done for balance. Um, we were talking about it earlier, and I was pointing out that if you if you Google blob being thrown or blob being moved, like it happens quite a bit in comics. So a character might use telekinesis to like lift the ground up under the blob and throw the blob. So they're not really throwing the blob, they're throwing the ground that the blob stands on. Magneto, uh, Pretty sure there's a there's a comic once where Magneto grabbed the metal structures under the ground 
that the blob was standing on and use that to throw him or move him. So like there, there are ways that the blob can be moved. And so that was done. Um, so, so, I mean, that makes sense from just a pure character level. But also just, I mean, if you just could not move at all, like, I think you'd, I think you'd be under threaded. I don't think anybody was looking to make a five threat blob. But there's plenty of times in the, in the comics that this, that it does happen. I mean, let's not even get into the Hulk. The Hulk just removes the blob, just does whatever he wants. The Hulk's just like, nah, your superpower doesn't really mean anything to me. Blob's like, this is the time. And then the Hulk's like, mm, is it? Is it though? Okay, this is a little red back here. This is a little sketchy. We'll smooth out that a bit. Okay, now I want to add red and green straight together. We want to do the the palette bar cam there. Yeah, Hulk is OP. I don't think Hulk at full, like full version of his power could even be in the game. So I mixed red and green, or red and green together. I'm using this for the deepest shadows. I also like to use this color to kind of frame the hair from this flesh. Get behind those ears, that's because that's why your mom always said get behind your ears because they're dirty. Say mama, you're just seeing the dark shadow. I do more of a two brush wet blend for these transitions. Are thin coats able to dry between different coats? Uh, so I usually paint with super thin layers. Um, there's two reasons for this. Um, speed. I can work faster as the paint dries much quicker. So I'm never waiting. I hate waiting. I hate waiting for something to be done drying. Um, Whenever I see somebody uh, and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? They're like, I'm painting and they're not painting. It's usually because it's, they're waiting for something to dry and I think that's just a waste of time um, for me. That's my personal, I'm in, I'm in a hurry. I got stuff to do. I don't wanna get my measure painted. So thin layers for speed, uh, but also thin layers because then it's really hard to mess up. I can go back and fix any problem much easier um, because there's just less paint to deal with. I'm sort of two brush blending. I would not call this a true two brush wet blend. The paint's a little too thin for that. When you're really two brush paint, two brush wet blending, um, the paint should be very thick. But it kind of is. So 
we're splitting hairs there. We're getting into places that I can't cover in an hour. Use this dark color. Draw a line between the fingers. And maybe this could be a little bit darker. Let's throw it up to you. There's no wrong way to paint skin. There's no wrong color. So you can kind of get away with whatever you mix up, really. Which is sort of the fun of painting skin. On stream, it's hard to like really two brush blend because I'm uh, trying to keep the miniature upright for y'all. I really want to flip it upside down to get some of these blends. But I'm also not going for perfect blends. I want some of that variation and imperfection like we were talking. Humans are more interested when they're imperfect. It's a pretty good start. I want to add a touch of like, like a burnt umber. familiar with art terms. We're going to darken the shadows one more time. Especially like under the nose, under the brows of the eyes. Go ahead and paint the teeth while we're here. Gonna take some cream and a touch of brown, a touch of flesh, PT flesh. Mr. Dukes here has a sweet grill. Do a little black and gray mix. Touch of blue. Yeah, yeah, this camera fell. Yeah. 
Yeah, it fell. It took a tumble. We're just gonna. Somebody's gonna fix the uh, palette cam while I paint the hair. I like blocking this in sometimes, kind of get a feel for that face and where I want to go with it. His mom cuts his hair. <laughs> it's got a little bit of that Three Stooges Mo going on. Except for more dashing in the t in the front. Okay, go back to that uh, little darker mix. Very very thinly put that between the fingers as well. Do the fingernail. You don't really need to do it on this hand unless you don't if you don't want to. We're just gonna really quickly do it. No one's going to see you down in here. Made a mistake. Whip it away. And if you mess up a little bit, grab a little bit of that peachy flesh, kind of re-block that out. Refine and define. I think that muscle on here needs a little more definition. Just a touch. Throw a few highlights on. So for this, I'm gonna take a lighter peach, mix it with our base peach, take a little touch of that brown. Kind of get that all over the place here. Find something that's sort of appropriate. Let's put on some highlights. 
It might be a little bright. There we go. Let's do that. Well, just a little touch right there where his skin is pinched. Look at the tops of his cheeks. Yeah, chin. Right toward the back of that eye always looks really good. We're gonna highlight the lip. It looks so sinister. It looks like he's up to no good, Summer. That is what we want. across top of this muscle group. A little omnidirectional there. Too light. Just gonna highlight the top edge of the fingers and the knuckles. He's up to no good, or they got his order right in the drive-thru. I think he'd be more happy if his order was wrong. Because then he'd have a reason to start a ruckus. He's like, oh, this is what we're doing today. And that highlight on those big surfaces really translucent. Want all those other colors to kind of come through.
these large muscle groups are a lot of fun to paint. So pleased with himself. The question is, should we put any tattoos on him? Put up your dukes. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the Bob is a man who does not drive the car through the drive through Strolls through. Even when there's a no, uh, no walking through the drive-through uh, sign, he's like, no, no, no. Hello, sir, or and or madam. Maybe you don't know who I am. Classic mother heart tattoo. It's always a classic, for sure. Chat, any other ideas here? Well, I don't know if you could get him on The motorcycle from the rivals panel. I'd be impressed. I would be impressed. I'm just gonna keep working this flesh. Barbed wire around the arm. A lot of back tribal. Now he's he's covered in his wrestling pants. We got summer on that one. Summer's like wrestling pants. I mean, like the blob dress is like a '90s wrestler. Or more like mid late 80s, I guess, yeah. By God, it's a steel chair to the back of the head. Okay, we gotta do, we gotta do at least one tattoo. Before the end of the stream. How's the skin look? I think the skin looks pretty good. 
It's not studio. It's a little artsy. Gets the job done. No regrets. No regrets. He needs some knuckle tats, that's for sure. You know what else he needs? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blah Blah. I'm sorry. We need to give him some. Give him some sweet sideburns. There's just something about him that says sideburns. Maybe a soul patch? I don't know. Should he have a soul patch? Somewhere's in there dying. You never imagined the blob with a soul patch? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to give him some 5 o'clock shadow. A little gray, a little blue, a little grab some flesh tones. Lots of that uh, art medium. This kind of ups the realism as well. Uh, anything to look forward to in November? Lots of stuff. All right, tattoos. What do we decide on here? We're going to do some blue. We're going to translucent it out a whole bunch. I need a single tattoo. I don't have a lot of time. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. Moon. 
clovers, diamonds. No regrets. Everybody wants. Let's do the mom heart. Let's do the mom heart. Go pure black. We're gonna make this uh, very in the vein of Sailor Jerry. A little black, a little blue, a little of our skin tone. Gotta turn it upside down, sorry. I gotta do it. I can't paint that right side up. Am I on? Am I back on? Yes, sir. Just making sure. All the bad angles. Oh, I finally thought of something for his knuckle tats. Got a little more red. 
I kind of desaturated that red because I want the I want the tattoo to feel old. I want to feel a little faded. Uh, no. Cream. I like mixing a little flush into all the colors here. Because uh, that helps with that faded look. So whatever your base flush tone is, you can mix a little in there. It's going to be hard to get rid of those lines. I shouldn't have drawn those lines through the heart. They'll get rid of. Classic dancing girl. I kind of want to do. Okay, so hear me out. What if his knuckles was T H I C C C C C? I mean, you got. He's got. I mean, look. He's got four knuckles that he put put letters on, right? You got four knuckles. T-H-I only takes up, or not four, you got eight. T-H-I only takes up three. That means five C's. See, those lines went away pretty good. So the heart has much more work. But it's 201. Which means I'm gonna have to go because I'm sure I got a meeting. Imagine that. Is it you? It's you. We have a meeting, which we could just do here, except for on live stream. <laughs> and also there's like three other people we need. and get right up on him. Can you see? Are we able to see what I'm doing? I just made a heck of a mess. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to swizzle to where I can see a little bit more.
So remember, breathing is actually the most important part here. Don't hold your breath. Not bad. I think the big thing I'd want to do is go back and realign everything. But that's like a good starting point for it. Um, and I feel like we got the skin pretty much down to where we want it. This is only because it made Summer laugh so hard. I think got a little thin. Right, it's five C's. That's what I'm talking about. Only because it made you last summer. <laughs> I mean, you don't think Mr. Duke's here spent time in the clink? He's been locked up. You know he's been locked up. He's a troublemaker. He's one of the worst. Just a troublemaker all, right, all the way around. And look at him. Look how... There you go. He's a, he's a big fella. Well, especially compared to poor old the knucklehead Wolverine. He's been to the raft more than once. That's absolutely correct. All right, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for, um, you know, hopefully learning about painting some uh, skin tones, you know. Just make some, uh, make some up. There's no wrong color. There's no wrong way. It's all about applying, like, deeper shades of red and green to create darker tones. You can start lower. You could have started at my shadow layer and built down by still adding red and green to that, to that mid-tone and then building down and then up for your highlights. Um, lots of ways to, to tackle uh, flush. And then we had a little fun air at the end with some tattoos, which is always a lot of fun. You can also glaze at the very end. Another trick is get the tattoo painted on. Um, Take your highlight color, add more of your art medium uh, to make it even more translucent and glaze it over top. And that pushes the tattoo under a layer. So it's kind of like really recreates. Um, if you see like real high end paint jobs on miniatures and the tattoos look real, that's what they're doing is like there's a, 
you want to lay some of that highlight tone over top of in, in a glazing manner because it pushes the ink down into the skin. It makes it look like it's really like in the skin. Um, just a nice little trick there. For tabletop, we don't really worry about it. We want it to read and be punchy. So anyways, for all the latest news information and announcements coming from Atomic Atom Glass Games, remember to check us out on Instagram and or Twitter. That's where we always like post and say, hey, check this out. This is coming up. Um, and get ready for next week. Well, tomorrow we got stream. I'm back. Mr. Schick has something he's got to take care of. So I'll be back to paint with you one more time. And then next week, games. We're doing some game streams. I think Summer just did a little game stream dance back there. I can't tell. So until then, go be the heroes you want to be, and we'll catch you later. Bye. He's got some tattoos. He's going to cause some trouble, because that's what he does. He's the blob, and he causes trouble all day and night.